Hello guys. As fellow Dutch security auditors, I'm pretty sure you all know about application security assessments. So let me ask you a somehow unrelated question. Who amongst you use Git? Okay, so you all know the Git flow and the feature branches and stuff like that. We will look to a slightly modified version of it. You have a developer's team and a security team, all right? The security team starts a security assessment. They need a stable version of the source code and they need the source code to be working, to be stable. So while the security assessment is going on, of course the developers keep working. Someday, the security assessment is over and the SEC guys want to get all their findings to be fixed right away, all the vulnerabilities to be corrected in the source code. But, of course, the asynchronicity between the team made this very difficult because the developers kept working, so the source code evolved. Of course, the release cannot be delayed. There is no time for that. So, what happens? The product is released with the found vulnerabilities in it. That's a shame, and that's why application security assessments are usually failing. So, this is something that happened to me many times. I was working in the Apple Red team, and many, many times I found vulnerabilities, and we haven't been able to get it corrected by the developers before a release was performed. So, for instance, amongst you, who already jailbroke an iPhone? Okay. You know, so, the question is, how can we reduce this delay between the protection and the code? The answer is in application runtime protection. This is when you get inside an application to do whatever you want to protect it. So, if you are inside an application and you want to protect it, you can either examine every system call, every SQL request, every access to a file, the rendering engine, you can examine any JSON generation. And so, <clears throat> since you are inside the application, you can really automatically get everything that the application is doing. So, if we try to protect an application against SQL injection, for instance, that's one kind of protection you can do from inside an application. You can get to any SQL API. So this one is the lowest level API for SQL in a Ruby on Rails application. Okay, so if you get there, you can access to the SQL query just before it is sent from your application to the database server. Once you have the query, you're able to correlate it with the user parameters and to understand that an injection is being performed. If you get that, what can you do? You find an attack. You can easily raise an exception. If you raise an exception, the malicious HTTP request is blocked and everything is fine. You protected the server. That's one of the protection we have built I could talk for hours about the other kind of vulnerabilities we are protecting application with such a technique, the in-application protection. So everything can be done from inside the application. We believe that every product should embed its own security logic. Thank you.